We're now going to look at how we can use Google Classroom on an iPad. So you need to download Google Classroom from the App Store and once you've installed it you will see the icon on your screen. So let's go into Google Classroom now. The first thing you're going to be asked to do is log in. So let's log into your Google account. This will be your school account. So now we're in Google Classroom and you can see the two classrooms that we created in the previous lessons. We go into the class that we created the assignments in. And we can see here it looks very similar to the desktop version. These icons on the side of the screen are the assignments, questions and announcements that we posted in previous lessons. So let's take a look at one of these. There is one of our assignments. We can go into one of the assignments by tapping on it. That will then open up Google Docs and it will show you the assignment. There is our assignment. Now to go back to Google Classroom, at the top of the screen it says back to Google Classroom, so we can click on that and it will take us straight back to Google Classroom. Let's click on this arrow in the corner and scroll down. Like the desktop version, we can look at students and we can email the students directly from here. We can go to about and we can see the information about the teacher. Let's go back to the stream. Like the desktop version, you can look at the assignments and which ones have been done and which ones haven't been done. So let's look at the ones that have been done. We can look at the instructions at the top here and then go to student work and there we can see the students that have actually handed it in. We can click on the students and we can do the same thing as we can do on the desktop version. In the top corner there, there's a menu item. You can click on this menu item. You can go to all the classes and see the classes that you've done. Let's click on the menu item again. We can go to the Google Classroom folders within Google Drive. We can click on settings. So let's do that now. We can turn on notifications. And notifications is great. If you're using a mobile device such as an iPhone, you can actually receive the information directly to your phone by notifications. So when somebody posts a comment or information on Google Classroom, you will get a notification on your mobile device. Let's click on back to Google Classroom at the top, click done. Up in the corner, we can click on the plus button and that will ask us if we want to join or create a class. Let's go back into one of the classes. We can click the plus at the bottom right of the screen and that will give us the opportunity to create an announcement or an assignment just like we would within the desktop app. So let's create an announcement. So we can make our announcement by typing it in there we can click on the paper clip in the corner and there we can add a Google Drive item, a link. We can pick a photograph or we can use the camera. If we click on use camera, we'd be able to take a photograph that will go directly into your Google Classroom. Once we finish with our announcement, we can click on the arrow in the top right corner and that will send the announcement back to Google Classroom. And we can see there, there is our announcement. You can do exactly the same thing with assignments. So that's using Google Classroom on an iPad. So let's now look at what it looks like on an iPhone. Very similar to an iPad. We can see here we're logged into our teacher account. So let's go into our Google training and we can see these are all the assignments. And again, it looks very similar to the iPad. One thing I want to show you on the iPhone that you can do on the iPad as well is to how to manage the accounts. So if you've got several accounts you can use, and this goes across all the different Google apps that you can use on the iPhone. If you click on the menu button in the corner, and then this little drop down menu next to your username, you can manage the accounts. So now I can add a different account to my Google Classroom that will allow me to actually log into Google Classroom with a different account. All the other features are very similar. We can go to the About page, we can go to the Student page, we can email the students directly from here, we can go to the stream. We can click on these three little dots where we can edit and delete a post. And we can press the plus button in the corner where we can add an assignment or announcement. The mobile apps for Google Classroom for the iPad and the iPhone are extremely helpful for students, particularly if you set up notifications. So when a teacher adds something to their Google Classroom, they will get a notification to say that something has been added. This in itself is a really useful feature. So that's Google Classroom.